Glorious glory. What the hell does that mean? Glory of glory of the I love Chris's voice in this section. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Kick Out. He just he nailed that 40s radio speak. It was brilliant. Yeah, oh, you know what's funny is Kick Ass, uh, th that, that music that's playing, we're, we just took over our own nation and yet we're using an American tune. <laughs> You, don't well, actually, you know what? You know what? Actually, it does make sense because he's probably making this documentary for the good people in America to tell them uh, about this, about the godless heathens in Kickassia. <laughs> did Jason bring the video games? Yep. <laughs> I don't was, think he did. He did. Yep, oh. I thought Doug had those ones. I'm pretty sure he brought them. Maybe I was wrong. I, d I just know that they were specifically brought because we knew that they were we were going to be. That it was in the script. Him him saying like, "Oh yeah, yeah it's really rare over there" or something. Yeah. I remember there is an alternate take where he asks if he thinks it's going to work, and Jason just goes, "Hell no, I don't think it's going to work at all." Stupid idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there was the uh, sequence where Mar Mars girl kicks everyone's ass. Mm. <laughs> She got that jacket at the military surplus store because that was a thing. Half of us did not have any real supplies for this because we didn't had no idea where the hell to get some of this stuff. And some of the areas we live in did not have any uh, military surplus stores nearby. I did try to get an army helmet from uh, from a surplus store nearby. They did not have any, and none of the ones that I called had any either. Hmm. Joe had to rent one from a costume shop and bring it with him for this. <laughs> <laughs> I was I never planned on bringing a weapon through customs and I barely got there anyway <laughs> See, that's the thing why didn't they just pay to ship it to the hotel what? Uh, don't fly with the guns no I think there's mm. always some concerns about doing that like uh, like it you know might get lost in shipping or the hotel might do something stupid or it won't arrive in time I actually trust the shipping stations more than I do hotel luggage. I mean, um, airline luggage. We really need a kick-ass flag. <laughs> oh, Brad. I like how Brad said he was worried that he Poor actually Tom. had to design the flag. <laughs> Poor Tom. Tom's just like, I'm humoring all you bastards. Well, Tom apparently doesn't mind. He, he appar Apparently he does not like being on... Uh, like a speaking role or anything like that. He's perfectly fine not doing a lot. Oh, I think it was pretty bad of us for all us all to uh, to all give him the finger. <laughs> it was just the salute. We were saluting him. And Lee here is just <laughs> Lee is just stealing the show in this whole thing. I can touch. I can, I can feel. feel you. <laughs> he was really happy that I should be able to do something. He was there for the brawl, but of course. He was still 2D, so he had so basically they shot his stuff, you know, took still photos, and then he sat out the rest of it, just sitting in the background with the rest of us, just waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah, that would be disappointing. <laughs> I got to meet him at Magfest. He was really nice. Dina too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're very nice people. It, it was cool. Like he he comes over to me and he's just like, seen the videos, fan of your stuff, handshake. Oh, <laughs> it's so. <laughs> Whereas when I got there, Mars Girls is like, I'm like, hey Mars Girl, how you doing? He's like, who who is this person talking to me? I I've never seen. Her uh <laughs> she never talked to me at Magfest. She didn't talk to me until we were literally sitting together at the panel. <laughs> That's the first thing, first time she ever talked to me. I'm like, hey. We've never said anything to each other. Well, 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 part of the thing there was you get Mars Girl at a convention and she's just going DDR like crazy. Didn't she? Didn't she DDR till she puked this year at that oh, yeah. fest? <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, wow. Oh, no, and, uh, we roomed together at uh, on suburban nights and she she was really nice. We got to talk. And you then. still didn't talk to each other. <laughs> yeah. Then it's <laughs> Uzi like was a water gun that he also got at the surplus store and it and it had the worst orange cap ever. All it had it was just a bunch of orange tape that you could unpeel. <laughs> I like Jason's guns the best. The gun waters. <laughs> I like that. That's what they were named on them. Gun waters. Gun waters. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> this is very much. This is all just one big Looney Tunes sketch in a, in essence. We're just we're just. This was really big... serious. What the hell are you on? <laughs> it's all a mat. It's all a farce. But oh my God, Spoony! <laughs> <laughs> no! It worked. Oh. <laughs> yeah, R.L. King in the chat's got it. It's a Mel Brooks style movie. Mm. When I played, when I play, what's that? What it says when I play doctor or something. I play to win. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, who's that guy? I think I know him. And this loser, who the hell is he? I don't know. I've never seen him He's before. Weird. <laughs> I remember one of the one of the blooper takes this. Tell me, how do you plan to fix this? I just and then I just open my mouth and like say nothing. And... <laughs> it probably would have been pretty funny if you left it like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and my everyone and as you notice everyone like has different outfits for a lot of this stuff. My my changing outfit, I buttoned up my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and subsequently, I lost the buttons on my jacket. I don't know what the hell happened to them. <laughs> oh, fuck so, this guy. <laughs> Sorry. So, Phelan, do you, do you bring the same red shirt for your shoots, or do you just have, like, a closet full of them? <laughs> I have a few, but that one's not even the red one, which is why I find it funny, you know, that everyone draws me or whatever puts me in the red shirt now that one's kind of the maroon one i have <laughs> oh it's not red it's maroon <laughs> well it is <laughs> i think what helps uh, uh Lindsay's performance here not just be uh you know constantly a sarah palin thing and you know dated subsequently is that since we never actually specifically call her Palin or anything like that in the movie, that it can just be parodied as just like some naive politician who is just playing nice and just, you know, to do that, uh, you know, get in deep and whatnot. I, I This is why I'm not good at commentaries on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that her wigs for both years or for the last two years have been almost exactly like her regular hair anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We went out and uh, on the same day we went out and got everything. We went to a wig store and we actually bought it, and it's really nice. It's like real hair. I think it was made from real hair. She's wearing someone else's hair. That's kind of <gasps> creepy. <laughs> no, that's the lady that's we killed for the of, hair uh, didn't mind. Work. They, it's people donating their hair. I'm gonna be meeting her for the first time this week, actually. Mm. Oh yeah, New York Comic Con. No, Watch no, this out. week. She's she's coming to uh, Nashville to uh, go to the Rift Tracks thing with me and uh, J.L. Oh, really? Oh, I guess I jumped the gun on New York Comic Con. She's crazy. Watch out. She'll probably try to kill you. Yeah, I would never hang out with her. <laughs> That's She'll okay. Strangle you with her bow we know you wouldn't. Lots of people try to kill me. I'm used to it by now. Oh, okay. Something broke and I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, the critic and his and that 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 awesome voice he sports throughout this. Yeah, I found it annoying. Greetings. <laughs> <laughs> I hate annoying voices. Yes, all the rock binder. <laughs> Fuck the rock binder. <laughs> <laughs> I am disappointed bison. that you didn't uh, ride a motorbike to Born to Be Wild. <laughs> yeah, well, if I was writing the script, that's what I would have been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a random scene in the middle of everything. No context. <laughs> Don't explain it. Then you go hey back. Hey, guys. Born to Be Wild. <laughs> Just doing that <laughs> Heading on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> it will it, it, like poorly green screen you in front of something as you're driving a motorcycle. You know, you know what I just realized? Uh, you know, right? He he's he's not even walking away. He just walks over to that spot and then just stands there and then waits. For yeah. Him to, to, to give him the. Uh, he, he wants him to get him to do it, but he has to do it right. <laughs> 
What sucks is when they take over, when you guys take over uh, Molossia, you keep the Molossia DVD collection in the background there. <laughs> well, it's a good DVD collection. Waste we not, want not. <laughs> I can just imagine Bod like sitting down and watching you know, legally blonde or something and in his <laughs> in his outfit. On <laughs> 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 favor say I I I'm just waiting for Phalus to get slapped again. That's my favorite part. <laughs> oh man, I really went and slapped most myself. Most well known for slamming Doug against the fridge. <laughs> now you want to talk confusing uh, character bits? The cinema snob is is he wears two different pairs of glasses, and apparently, just whenever he moves outside of the house, he takes off the huge '80s sunglasses. <laughs> well, it's, it seems like when he's uh, in this one, that he's just playing it as Brad anyway. It doesn't seem like he's yeah. even playing Cinema He's snob. more the Brad side of Cinema Snob. The Brad <laughs> Snob. Brad tries filmmaking. <laughs> da 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 da! <gasps> Dude, you should be president. This is a great red herring. I, I, I don't get why people are. I, I, okay, I get why people are upset that, uh, that Bod did not. Uh, do that. I like to think of it that Baugh had this plan all along. He would from he and actually he did do it. He fermented rebellion in the people that eventually caused it all to collapse in the end. Yeah. And Doug's Doug's own natural paranoia contributed to it. I thought it was fairly obvious that he dropped the paper to you guys with the bombs and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh Matthew. He looks different. Um, back then than now, and it's only been a year, but he does look different. It might He's be the really hair. grown up. <laughs> Finally grew up. <laughs> we had a quinceanera flaw. So. I think a lot of it is our hairstyles. <laughs> it, yeah, he has a different haircut. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Forever. Hi, oh, Mr. Critic. We're friends, right? Indeed, we are, of course, friends. <laughs> oh, I'm still waiting for the spin off, the finance snob. Jimmy <laughs> Stub, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> and of course, in between, anytime we did, they were doing takes on the couch, we were. All, we were all over here, like either, either outside or just like gathered around the table, signing autographs on my on our laptops or anything like that. And Lindsay almost spoiled everything. <laughs> she tweeted that she was in Reno. Yeah. You fool! <laughs> she she does that a lot. I find <laughs> she, she, she just tweet whatever. <laughs> We tried it. I like. Is it just me? I like having things as surprises. <laughs> oh, I, I like having things as surprises too. And and of course, uh, uh, Juario and I, yeah. Justin and I, were actually slapping each other. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Justin. I think the anniversaries themselves though, have become a little silly to try and hide completely because everyone knows. <laughs> at this point, I no. don't mind. I, I, I don't mind because you know it's obvious we're all we're all going to Chicago at the same time. We all tweet that we're going away at the same time. Yeah, this year especially when everyone starts saying like I won't be around for a week. It's like, <laughs> well, there goes any kind of surprise. <laughs> you should do that and just not do an anniversary video. Yeah. With it, screwing <laughs> just everyone. Just plan it. <laughs> yeah. 